Hi there, my name is Luis Geraldo. I'm the president of Monkey Mac Consulting and uh, here, in, here in Vancouver. I wanted to take a couple of minutes just to talk to you about the HST um, or rather about how much I hated the PST and, um, and its process. To give you a simple example, um, if I go on site to a customer and I am installing some RAM on a computer, in addition to providing some consulting services or some configuration on some other machines, um, there would be a pretty complex invoicing process that would have to take place for this invoicing to happen. I would have to, and we charge for travel time in our industry, so I would have to charge for travel. However, I'd have to figure out what percentage of time I spent actually installing the RAM, because it was a physical part, and then charge PST on that percentage of the travel time as well. So I'd have to charge, I'd have to split up my travel time by percentage based on how much time I spent uh, installing the RAM. And then of course the uh, fees that I charge on services for installing the RAM were PST taxable. In addition to that, uh, I'd have to break down obviously the time that I spent on site in order to divide up how much I should charge PST on and how much I shouldn't. So what happens at the end of the day is many businesses would simply figure that this is way too complicated. Um, most uh, technology industries would have a 13 to 15 page document to go through to figure out what to charge uh, PST on and what to not charge PST on. So they would simply charge uh, PST on everything, uh, just blanket PST charge on everything to avoid the process. And of course it's costing the customer more money uh, when they shouldn't have paid PST, but the worst part of it is that that PST money goes into the black hole of provincial bureaucracy. It doesn't come back to the business the way that HST does. So we're so thrilled about HST because more of that tax money will come back to our business, allow us to stay a little bit more nimble and be able to propel our business forward. So we certainly are big supporters of the HST. Uh, not only that, but in Canada, the HST rate that we pay in BC is amongst the lowest uh, VAT or HST rates uh, anywhere in the world. Uh, many countries have upwards of 20% uh, VAT or HST tax on, uh, on purchases. And so we are actually on a, on a very low percentage. And I think it's just a matter of time before our consumers realize that the overall benefit to the economy is that businesses can hire more people, they can, they can stay uh, more active and more involved in their communities. And I just, uh, we just need to give it a little bit of time. Uh, I realize the immediate impact to consumers is that things cost a little bit more, um, but it's just a, a, a small temporary side effect of the benefits to come. And I just uh, hope people will will look further than their immediate uh, expenses and be able to see that the benefits that will come will be much greater. So support the HST. Thanks for listening.